Any guesses what we're about to make? Caramel apples. <laughs> it is that time of year. We are gonna make some caramel apples. Welcome back to Vlogtober. Um, Jackson has requested some caramel apples. We were at the store yesterday and we saw some pre-made and they were like six bucks for one. And I said, why don't we just make them ourselves? So I bought a little caramel apple kit. Did not realize that you have to also add milk and sugar and all that. I was actually thinking this was more like the wraps that you put around the apple and like stick them in the oven for a couple minutes and they just, you know, wrap around the apple. This is gonna take a little bit more work, but that's okay, they'll probably taste a little bit better. We've got our caramel apple mix here, sticks. We chose Butterfinger bits to go on the outside. We also have some Reese's Pieces. I might chop them up to make them like smaller and put them on. Jackson's actually never had a caramel apple and he really wanted to try one. So yeah, that is what we're gonna be making today. It is 3.30 in the afternoon. Just now picking up my camera. Um, Ollie needs to go out now. This will be more like an evening vlog. I'm gonna be making dinner. Patrick's gonna come over in a little while. We're gonna be working on his budget and he's obviously gonna have dinner. I did have recently Someone in the comments asked me about like budgeting and if I would be willing to share kind of like what I do with him. So when he gets here, I will ask him if he minds, but Patrick, he, he won't mind. He's an open book. We're obviously not going to share his personal financial information, but if anybody's interested in like how I budget, I realize that like things that might seem really simple to me might not to someone else and vice versa, and you can always learn things from other people. So if it's something that interests you, we'll see if we can just do like a basic rundown of what I do for him to help him out and help him stay on track. So that's gonna be this evening. Talked long enough, but I'm now gonna let the dogs back in. Well, I don't blame him for going in and out because it is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's so beautiful outside. Okay, so I'm gonna read the directions. I'm actually gonna put these in some vinegar and water and let them soak a little while, get all the waxy residue off. I think, let's see, I need, I don't have a candy thermometer, but I've made candy before and never had one. <laughs> I need milk and sugar and apples. And it says 10 apples, we only have five left, so we're just gonna probably use, I might just do half the recipe, yeah. Okay, I gotta get vinegar. I'm almost out. I need to put that on my grocery list. Sugar and milk. Okay, my apples are cleaned and dried and I got some wax paper ready. We've only got five, so I am gonna only half this because maybe then I can use, we can make them again when I get some more apples. This was like $1.79 at Kroger. Jackson's gonna be my helper. Jackson, ah, Jackson is on fall break this, the rest of this week, so he is home from school, so that's fun. Um, yeah, you can use that. So we're gonna mix half of this with Sorry, I hope I'm not making you dizzy. With four ounces of milk, and then we're gonna add one and a fourth cups of sugar. So mix contents with milk in a saucepan. Use medium heat and bring to a full boil for two minutes, stirring constantly while it's boiling.
um, the it's been 10 minutes. We let this cool. Hopefully it was the right temperature when we took it off the heat. We're just gonna dip them in the caramel and then the Butterfinger. Are you excited? Yes. Oh dear, I guess you gotta put the toppings on after you let it sit. So go ahead and stick it on the sheet and then we'll yeah. dip it in the candy once it gets a little harder. All right. <laughs> they are a hot mess. They were not the prettiest. This one's falling over. So I learned not to put all the stuff on it. As soon as it comes out of the pan, got to let it wait. Let it cool for a couple minutes, and then we dipped it in the topping. But they worked out, and they're going to be delicious. Jackson's excited to try one, but I want to let them sit in the refrigerator for just a little bit. That caramel is so incredibly sticky, and I thought it'd probably be better if we let it sit. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up, put these in the refrigerator, and then I'm going to take my dogs for a walk while they're chilling and when we get back we'll cut one open and taste it. Hey, want some sunglasses? <laughs> I remember I was able to do this once with the hoverboard. All right, back from our walk. Gonna taste the apple. He doesn't want his cut up. He wants to eat it like that. Yes. <laughs> good? Mm-hmm. 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 Very good. What are you doing? He's so goofy. He's so goofy. All right, apples were delicious. Marion and I split one. Jackson had one. We're gonna save these three for after dinner. But I'm gonna go ahead and start on dinner. I'm just making uh, air fryer steak bites I made in my air fryer. My hair is such a mess. <laughs> that I made in my air fryer video. I just am going to. I have some steak. They're they're just like steak cubes. I got them from Sam's already cut up, but I actually think I'm going to cut them a little bit smaller. And then I have two smaller steaks that I thought out as well because Patrick's coming. I want to make sure I had enough. So I'm just going to cube everything kind of the same size and then I'm going to marinate it in the refrigerator for like an hour or so and then cook them in batches in the air fryer. I'm just going to add olive oil, salt, pepper, a little bit. I only have a little tiny bit of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce and I might add some brown sugar just to make them a little bit sweet too. And then after they're cooked, I'm gonna toss them in garlic and butter and they'll hopefully be delicious. I'm also gonna make some of these rice aroni chicken and garlic and good old sweet peas.
So the meat's been in the oven, I mean in the refrigerator defrosting for 45 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and start the rice aroni. If you hear that noise, you remember, if you remember just a mini cocoa when my neighbor painted his house like the blue gray, it's so pretty. He's out there power washing the bottom of it so he can paint the bottom. So you'll probably hear that. I think he's almost done. Just has that one spot, I think. No. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, that's what you'll hear. <laughs> Marion's also cutting wood downstairs, so you're going to hear lots of <laughs> background noise, but this is just real life, just regular life. This is coming to a boil, this is just the chicken garlic flavor. So many things you can do with rice around you. But I just put the first batch of steaks in, I'm just going to shake it, and it's been about five minutes, so I'll do another five and then we'll see. Alright, rice is boiling. Alright, my steak is done. I got some peas, some, what is that called? Nice. Rice aroni and there's Patrick. <laughs> and let's see your shirt today. What is that? Just oh, a, this just, is just a balloon. I mean, a bubble. A ball. Like, okay, it's a ball. okay. It's, <laughs> who knows? Alright, well, I'm going to plate up the food. I'm not mm. a huge fan of steak, so I'm not oh. going to have a lot. Oh, but I am. Oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson's on his second caramel apple. Safe to say he loves them. Yeah, yeah. Oh my word, y'all. <laughs> mm. Most of you probably have had caramel apples before, but they are so good. The, um, yeah, that steak was good. I don't even like steak, but I cooked my, I took some and put it in the back in the air fryer just for me and like, like kind of charred it. That was good. And Okay, <laughs> I'm sitting down with Patrick. I had, like I told you before, I just had like a, a person ask me about like budgeting and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, it's too far away. <laughs> I feel like we're way far away. Yes, there true, we go. true. Anyway, um, nice. so yeah, for me, budgeting is like super simple, but for people like Patrick, it's not. So Truth. he basically like, he was getting in a lot of financial binds because he didn't, know how to have a budget and for many many years after his wreck he didn't have a budget he just got paid and then Very he would true. pay bills and then he would spend it and then he, he kind of like kept getting overdrawn and he'd text me at like two in the morning and say he was notified he was overdrawn and can I give him forty dollars until payday and it just became like he kept doing that and then yeah. I was like okay we need to, I need to help you with this because the way his brain works and it just it just wasn't because he has had two head injuries that's true. It just doesn't work that way. So I thought, let me just do it. So Patrick works eight months out of the year. Mm -hmm. He also gets disability. So the four months that he's not working, we have to make the eight months that he does work stretch over right. the 12 months. So he was trying to do that on his own for years and years. And when I started helping him, mm -hmm. we've been able to just like fix all those issues and Yes. One of the biggest things I did with him when we started his budget was I wanted him to open a savings account because, you know, like he needed a new battery. <laughs> right. It was $179. If exactly. he didn't have in his savings, he wouldn't have had it. I'd so, be up a wall. Yes. Yeah, so that was like super important. That was one of the first things we did was mm -hmm. we established a savings account and now he, it's been a year and a half almost and he's doing so great oh with that word. he's doing so great with that and he just feels so much pressure off of him so we had a goal that we're about to reach and i think next month we will reach it <laughs> and we're going to start looking at vehicles because he's going to need a new vehicle true. and so true that is a huge plus that's come out of this but also i think he doesn't have the stress oh he my needs goodness to have. but what i so for me it's funny to uh, tell you what i do i literally just he gets paid twice a month from his job, plus he gets disability. So he comes over always right before his check goes mm -hmm. in the bank. And we write down, you know, his monthly budget, everything that we have for the month. And then we divide it up by the weeks that he gets paid and it varies every month. Mm -hmm. So we look at the 
date that he gets paid and we we had first thing we did was they give me all your bills and we figure out the due dates so that nothing is ever late you can pay everything on time to me these are just like these are like a no-brainer but for some people i guess maybe <laughs> it's difficult but like we had to establish all his bills and all their due dates and then we go each month we write out a monthly budget and then i give him an individual weekly budget so i say this is your budget only for this paycheck and he'll right. go and he'll he'll say oh so i don't need to pay this and this and i go <laughs> don't do that you just right. pay this you know because all those other things aren't usually in the month right. you get paid again before it's like then. oh so you're gonna oh pay them there's later another on. another check's gonna Yes. Take care of that. So he'll okay. say, oh no, did I pay this? I'm like, yes, you already paid it over here. You don't have to pay it again. So it's just helped him. So I don't know if I'm giving any kind of advice, but like just, we take like a monthly budget and then we break it down into the weeks based on what, when he gets paid and when his bills are due. So he only works eight months. So he's off all summer and then he's off a whole month at Christmas because he works right. at the college. And so the months that he's working, he does really good about taking and putting money away, putting it in savings so that when he's not working, he can mm. take money from that and use it to live and pay his bills. And can I tell y'all, this summer, <laughs> this summer was the very first summer that I have, since I was in the wreck, that you didn't have to I didn't stress. have to, yeah, it's yeah. like, because when you what? go from making a certain amount of money to all of a sudden you're not working for yeah. three whole months. Yeah, and how are you, how are you going to uh, yeah, survive? Yeah, summers were stressful. Praise the Lord for Eric Marie that she, yeah, that she thought... Yeah, Patrick is the one doing all the work. He's the one That she thought following. ahead. you got to get a savings account. She didn't say it like that. He's done so good. That's He's done the work. Phenomenal. He's done the work. So I just help him. I write out because I, it's clear for me to just say, this is your bills, this is when they're due, so this is what you pay with this. Like, he gets paid tomorrow, so I have written down what he, and I'm a pen and paper person, so. Yeah. And he, he, I think it helps him too. He puts this on his refrigerator, Yeah. and then he, he just marks it off once he pays it. Yeah. See here, he's marked off. Oh these, yeah. These were from last time that he's already marked yeah. off. Yes. I don't want to give any of yeah. your financial yeah. information away, <laughs> right. but anyway, that is a little basic rundown. If that made any sense, if that helped you, I hope it helped somebody, but budgeting is, to me, is pretty simple. You got this much money, you got these bills, <laughs> you know, they have due dates. Yeah. And um, he, he, his car is needing to be replaced pretty soon. So. A long time ago. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we're going to hopefully, I know cars are so expensive. It's like everything yeah. else is so expensive. Yes. But hopefully we can find him one. And yeah, we'll keep true. you posted on that. So yeah, it's Patrick's true. doing great. But this is your... Um, also, I want to say this. Also, totally off subject. Scott, if you're watching, oh. I know you're... A, you're a fan of Patrick's. Yes. We have a card for you. We're going to get in the mail. We're going to sign it right now. <laughs> We're going right. to get this in the mail to you because I promised your wife that I was going to send this to you. And I've had this sitting on my thing for a while. So we're going to go ahead and fill it out and get it in the mail to you. So be looking awesome. for that. Okay, I'm going to say good night. I hope that I hope that helped somebody. I don't know. I feel like I just, I don't know. <laughs> but I did have a question. So we addressed it. I hope it helped you. Um, it's pretty basic information though. So anyway, got my kitchen cleaned up. Feels good, always feels good. I have a clean kitchen at night. You know that's my favorite. <laughs> Dinner was delicious. Those apples were delicious. I think Jackson's found a new favorite snack. We're gonna definitely buy some more apples and make some more of those. So um, they were a lot of work and sticky, but so good. And I didn't feel so guilty eating that for dessert. But Patrick and I are gonna actually sit down now and we're gonna look up, look at some vehicles online and just you know get an idea of what's out there what the prices are and all those things for when you know he's ready to buy a, a car so anyway thank you for hanging out another day of vlogtober uh make sure to give this one a thumbs up and i'll see you guys tomorrow Bye bye